Good evening. She says two team members will reach Hawaii early tomorrow afternoon. They expect there to be a lot of people that are displaced from this fire, so they stand ready to help. They will find out where the need is greatest, and then they will call the rest of the team in. These fires have affected much of western Maui, and so the local officials are pretty overwhelmed. Sil Wong has responded to disasters all across the globe. In 2022, we talked to her after she returned from assisting with humanitarian efforts in Ukraine. So the, the catastrophic wildfire, the fires that we saw that just burned all the way through Lahaina, and we have all seen those pictures. Um, it is as bad as any disaster that I have ever been to. Like many teams of local emergency responders, we've covered deployment this week after arriving in Maui. Wong says she and her teammate will assess the situation to determine where the need is greatest and to start planning logistically. We're expecting that there's a lot of people who, obviously who are displaced. The team will make contact with the civil defense, local agencies and other non-governmental organizations to determine which additional team members to call in. One component is the search and rescue. We also have the logistics component um, where we can help bring in aid. We can set up, help set up intake with shelters. There's, there's a vast number of things we can do as a logistics unit. We also have a medical unit. We also have our uh, search dog. The nonprofit previously worked with the civil defense officials there after responding to hurricanes in the past. Team members also have personal connections in Maui. So Wong says they'll be staying in tents on a friend's lawn in order to save hotel and home rental space for those that lost their homes. Wong says although this will be her 19th disaster deployment, she says this one is more personal. We all know people who are from Hawaii or we've been there or um, have close ties there and so this is this hits close to home for us and they should touch down at around noon and once they decide who to deploy it will take about 24 to 48 hours to get boots on the ground for the rest of the team once they are called in reporting live in Seattle Jennifer Dowling Fox 13 news and people out in Maui